We're going to try to find the volume using shells of a solid that's revolved around the y-axis that's enclosed by our x equals 2, which is our vertical line over here, our y equals 2, which is our horizontal line here, and our parabola right here, x equals the square root of y minus 2, and that's our curve right here. We're going to take this shaded area, and we're going to revolve the shaded area about the y-axis. When you're having a vertical axis of revolution, according to shells, we need to be dealing with x's. So we're going to have to have it dx here, which means our bounds have to be x's. When you look at our shaded region here, it starts over here at 0 and goes all the way over to 2 for the left and the right because that's x. So that's our bounds from 0 to 2. Then we need to go ahead and go ahead or try to find our radius. Our radius would go from a point over here, which we're dealing with x, which is x units over, so your x units over minus your axis of revolution, which is on the left, which is 0, so x minus 0, which is x for our radius. Then we need to go ahead and identify our height. Our height is what we're going to be dealing with here, and that's going to go after our radius. Our height goes from what's on top to what's on the bottom. Our height goes up and down when we're dealing with x's, so we've got to take what's on top, which is our function, but it's got to be in terms of x. So we've got to first of all go ahead, solve this for y so that we have x on the other side. So we could square both sides. Then we finish getting y by itself. We get x squared plus 2 is equal to y. So for our height, we're going to go what's on top, which is our parabola, our x squared plus 2, minus what's on the bottom, which is a height of 2. And so that is our height of our shell. In this case, the 2's drop. And we'd have an x squared here, because the 2's dropped, with our x in front, which is an x cubed. Then we can go ahead and integrate that. Then we can plug in our 2 minus what we get when we plug in 0, and we get an answer of 8 pi.